on over. I'm Chris, a recovering Yankee living in the South. If having company for coffee, dinner, or even a last minute popover sends you into a fit of panic, I can show you a few tips for being a great host or hostess anytime, day or night. So tune in, take notes, and learn to be fearless in saying, come on over. Today we're gonna to talk about my top 10 tips for dressing the table for company. Now, as the intensity of your company escalates, say your mother-in-law, your grandmother, your realtor, whoever is coming over with a little more intensity, the tablescape will increase with that. So let's get started. Tip number one, always have some sort of cloth on your table. In this instance, we have a table runner. That makes the table look longer and it creates some interest. Now, that's not just good enough because we're gonna need something to put the plates on for dressing the table for, let's say, four people. So let's get the table set. I have a full service of four over here. We're going to use all of these ingredients in every setting as we escalate. So I have four glasses, four sets of silverware, and four sets of plates. And that brings up tip number two. Always use real things. There is no spoon. There is no spoon? So, we're using real glassware. We're using real plates. We're using real silverware. Now, you might be thinking, why is that important? It's important because you wanna make your guest feel special. And nothing says special like real items. You can get everything on the table before you even start and then move from there. So here are my plates, my glasses, my silverware. You can use something as simple as a charger. I like this charger because it kind of has that picnic feel. It's much more casual. It works with the runner. So I can put them on both ends, works beautifully, and put them on the sides that have nothing on the table because we always want something on the table underneath the plates. Then we will take our plates and I, I've got both dinner plates and salad plates and just place them right in the center of the charger. And that's what I love about a charger is that it helps you center your plate. Also fun to put a little salad plate right in the middle. These happen to match. They don't have to match. If you had a glass plate for salad, if you're even having salad, or a roll or bread of some sort, perfect for that. As long as it goes together, we don't care. Then, oh look, tip number three, use real napkins. Now, we're not talking paper towels here. We're using napkins. Now, I discovered long ago that most people don't like linen napkins or cloth napkins. They really prefer a paper napkin. So I just take it, fold it into a triangle, stick it next to the plate. It doesn't have to be fancy. If you have a skill, a special, special skill for folding napkins, now's the time to show that off because it's fun and people notice that. I don't have that skill, so I'm just gonna do a plain old triangle napkin. Tip number four, real silverware. So why am I not using plastic silverware? Because it's not special and you want your company to feel special. These just go in the dishwasher. It's nothing fancy. It's plain serviceware. And you know what? It doesn't even really have to match. If you're short on something, as long as it has the same patina on it, as long as it's silver and it's what you use on a daily basis, that's fine. I like to use the full set. You don't have to, but I like to use the full set when I'm dressing the table because I never know what my guest is going to want. They might want to use a knife or I wouldn't. So I go ahead and just use the knife in the setting. So we're gonna add the spoon because you never know when a guest is gonna wanna add a spoon. And you might notice they don't look exactly the same. Some of them are on the table, some of them are on the runner. And then we have our fork. Fork goes on the left over the napkin. Sometimes I put the napkin 
on top. You can do that, whatever you want to do. And then we're gonna add the glass. There are many schools of thought on where to put the glass. I just put them wherever I think it's gonna work best. And we have a serving bowl and I just put this over here to show off that it goes together. Now look, this is very basic setup. It is, oh, and I do have a centerpiece and that's another tip, use the centerpiece. And we'll use the same centerpiece the entire time to show you that that can work. Now I'm gonna alter what I use underneath just to show you the difference and how it could look. So I'm going to keep the same plates, but I'm going, instead of a charger, I'm going to use another wicker item. This is just a square and I'm gonna put it down here. It still looks good. I'm going to bring out the plate, the fork, the knife, the spoon. It creates a little bit more of a picnic feel. So if you're having fried chicken or something that's more picnic-y, that's fun. Another option would be just a plain old placemat. So I'm going to move this one and show you a placemat. I kind of stick with the same sort of weave. So here is a woven placemat. I think I just picked this up at TJ Maxx or somewhere like that. It goes with everything else. I'm gonna put the knife and spoon and fork and napkin, and that looks good too. It's not as dramatic as the woven charger or the mat. It doesn't create the height, but it works just fine. And we use these all the time with our company. All right, let's escalate the setting. So something I like to do is add a little extra something, something to the table. And I have these really cool birds. They go well with the flowers and the centerpiece. And let me tell you, if you like centerpieces and you want to learn how to do more with a centerpiece, we actually have a video of that and we'll link it down below. So after I add a little something to the center, I also like to add candles. And these are just simple glass containers with tea lights in them. And I just put them somewhere interesting. The ones on the end are easiest because I can add them really close. I might put this one over here. You definitely don't want anyone to catch on fire, so you want to put it a little bit away. Now, let's say that your company is going to have a little bit of wine or Prosecco or something uh, light with your meal. I have some Italian glass here I love to use because it can go on the dishwasher. These are very hearty and there are definitely rules about this. You're supposed to put it to the right of the water glass. I say put it wherever you want. Rules are made to be broken. But I'll do that for the purists out there. I'm gonna put it to the right. I think it's a little more interesting to put it on the left sometimes to create a nice visual effect, but we'll put it on the right this time. Then I actually have these little beautiful wine coasters and I like to put my bottle on this, first of all, because it can help with dripping or any other problem, but it's just pretty to have it sitting there. Looks beautiful. Then, if you really want to kick it up a notch, you can use these individual wine servers. I cannot tell you how many people have gasped in delight about these. Seriously. They come in sets of four. I have four. We have four settings here. And so I might actually place that over here just to give it a little more pizzazz on this side. And it's set. I have my serving bowl and we've just dressed this slightly. It's the same dishes, the same silverware. Still I'm using this runner, but we have definitely kicked it up a notch for a little bit more of a special guest. And now we're kicking it up to level three. This is high intensity full on romancing the table. It doesn't have to be for a romantic evening. It just is when you want to put every special item on the table. Now, maybe you suffer from one of the things I used to suffer from, which is you have beautiful things and you think, I'm gonna save this for- Second breakfast. I'm gonna hold on to this until- Pigs fly. You know, I don't wanna use this until- We kiss the girl. Let me encourage you to just let that go and use the crystal. 
use the china, use the special things. People love it. It makes your guests so happy when they walk in and see a beautifully and romantically dressed table. They want to sit and linger. First of all, I got rid of the runner and the placemats and I'm using an actual tablecloth. This is a tablecloth that's older. You can throw it into the washing machine. It has some stains on it and some flaws. I've just strategically covered those up. Nobody cares. They don't care if there's a food stain on your tablecloth, trust me. And if it's the evening, the candlelight, the low light makes it die away. So we've got the same dishes, but I've also now added one of our top 10 things, serving utensils. Always great to have a big spoon, a big fork. If you're cutting meat, a big knife that kind of goes with what you're doing and just put them right on the table. I have more serving pieces. I didn't want it to distract from what we're doing, but you can bring out any serving piece that goes with your setting. It doesn't have to exactly match it, just something that goes along. But now we're going to kick it up. And I'm going to do something that I love to do, which is add flowers. I've just got these little matching, but they don't have to match, flower vases, flower holders. I just put a little bit of twine on them and I'm going to put it somewhere by the, each setting so everybody gets their own individual flowers. It's gonna have to work in with your wine glasses and your water glasses, and we may move them around a little bit. Let's see what we can do. This is a cheap thing, very cheap. These are just carnations. They're white carnations. $5 at the grocery store for a whole bunch of them, and I've just used a few. And you just put them right here at each table setting. They love it. Then I went ahead and got out the crystal. This is gold rimmed, gold tipped crystal from Austria. And I used to save it until I read that if you don't use it, it actually makes the crystal more fragile. So they want you to use it and then wash it and that strengthens the crystal. I started using them immediately afterwards. These are water goblets. Really hold a nice amount of water and something else that you could have at the table would be a water pitcher. I have one of those, but I forgot to get it out of the cabinet, so. How dare you? Imagine a water pitcher. We might add it for some still photos later. So you've got your water glass placed and now I have matching wine glasses. These have a bit of a champagne feel. In fact, they are a champagne feel because we're using a champagne type of wine. And there are rules about this, but I'm gonna break that rule. I wanna create some height behind the water glass. So I might move them around a little bit, try not to break them so I won't have to burst into tears. We've got this one over here that I've completely messed up with my flowers, but I'm gonna just move it on over here and try not to set things on fire. And then I have individual wine carafe holders. So I'm gonna put these just somewhere pretty. Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to look special. And you can see when you add all of this clear glass to the table, it makes it really start to shine. Well, my wine bottle's sort of in the way, so I'm gonna go on this one over here. Put it there, move this out a little bit. All right, final thing, and I cannot stress this enough. What you don't want on the table is a giant bottle of ketchup. What you wanna do is take individual condiment something. It could literally be a teacup. It could be a punch cup. Just something that kinda of goes with the theme and you put your condiment, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise into this. I am begging you, do not put this on the table. You know who you are, hear me. So then after you have your condiments in your containers, you can just place them around the table where people can ask for them. You can also put individual spoons in them if you want to, knives if you would prefer that. You can use a butter dish, you can have that on here. 
but butter dish, condiments, anything that your guests might need for the particular meal that you're serving works beautifully. Now let's just look at this table. How beautiful is this? We're using my everyday, uh, it's not even China, but you can call it China, everyday dishes. They just happen to be yellow and pretty and I wanted them to go with the yellow peonies. Then I went with gold because we are using yellow and it's beautiful and it's what I have. And then I just went with clear glass for everything else. And once the wine is in the carafe, once the condiments are in the glass, it all comes together and makes a beautiful setting. I've kept the same centerpiece, same dishes, same silverware, but man, did we kick it up a notch, right? So when you think about hospitality, whether you're having over a friend, a relative, someone very special in your life, maybe it's romantic, no matter what you do, remember your goal is to make someone feel special. And that's why I'm here to help you. Now, get out there and invite someone over for dinner and make them feel special today. Jimmy, it's like, it's like, he goes, it's like magic. One minute, it's like we're living here. The next minute, it's a hotel lobby. Thanks for watching. Now get your hosting skills on tonight.